A journey to freedom. What happened here in Montgomery and what happened in Birmingham and Selma and so many other places in the South urge people to stand up, to speak up, and speak out. Members of Congress took part in a wreath laying to remember people killed by civil rights era violence. Some of those at the ceremony were witnesses. We were tear gas. We were left bloody. We finally made it to Montgomery. And the Voting Rights Act was passed. I think that it's really important that we remember why we are public servants. And I think this kind of pilgrimage helps us to remember and reflect. And now it's time to recommit and rededicate ourselves to ideals of this pilgrimage. This year's pilgrimage comes 50 years after the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the mother of a young woman who was killed during a white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, was at the wreath laying. Cynthia Sullivan says her daughter Heather will be remembered like the martyrs of the 1960s. Heather is also part of the civil rights movement and in no way has the movement died and we need to recognize that, we need to acknowledge that and we need to continue. People taking part in the three-day pilgrimage say they have been inspired as they tour the historic sites of the civil rights movement. The people in Montgomery, in Selma, in, in, in Birmingham, use everything they had to change, not just the state, but help change America.